Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If you are looking for reliable and easy to use remote desktop software, then AnyDesk is a great option for you. In this video, we will show you how to get started with AnyDesk as a beginner, from downloading it and installing it, the software to connecting to a remote desktop. We will also cover some of the key features of AnyDesk that will help you to be more productive while working remotely. So whether you are a freelancer or part of a remote team, let's dive in and start using AnyDesk today. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first guys that I will need you to do is simply launch your browser. Right after that, go ahead and open the URL section and search for AnyDesk. After that, go ahead and click on the first link that will show up for you. Let me just turn this real quick to English website, so here it is. And simply now, just click on download now. This is pretty easy. Now, if you have Windows like mine, it will be downloaded directly for you. If you don't, click on, for example, if you have Mac OS, click on Mac OS. If you have Android, click on Android. If you have iOS, Linux, FreeBSD, Raspberry Pi, and Chrome OS. Now, after you have downloaded it, just start the installation process. So, the installation process doesn't take too long. As you can see, just open and it will open the program for you. So, now, install any disk on this device. It's just have to click here, installation path, create start menu shortcut, etc. etc. Enable auto update if you'd like to enable it, and now click on accept and install. Click on yes and just wait for it so it is fully installed. Here, would you like to install the device software? You can install it, you can ignore it. So I'm going to accept it anyway. And here we go. So let's give it a little bit of time. And here it is checking for a new version. Any, uh, it is now working well for us. As you can see, this is your address. So in case someone wanted to actually get into your PC and start moving, seeing what you have on your screen, help you with your work, or you have a team to actually share with them your screen and they can start looking through your PC. This is the idea that you have to give them. Of course, you can invite them through this link over here and send such an invitation to follow any desk id or allies so you just have to search for it and invite it through here and of course here you will have to give them like some access what you want to really give them as an access you only want to share share your screen or you want to give them full access or an attendant access here to actually see what you are going to give them as you can see you will find this checkbox on your right so you can actually read it and see exactly what you are giving to your teammates so they don't like do something bad see your PC or something like that you can just give them a screen sharing or if you'd like just an attended access you will not allow them to interact with forbidden windows now here it is the things that you have here they will be allowed to actually write with the do the keyboard, import files, write down, and hear you and make some noise. They can actually open their camera while streaming, and of course you can chat in the chat. Here it is if you'd like to add more settings, so you can make a custom uh, settings for your own self. You can just make it through here. So these are like custom settings that you can give to your ally allies. So this is the first thing. Here, if you'd like to, you by yourself, go ahead and join some session or go ahead and remote control another PC. This is why, where you have to do it. So you just have to copy the address that the person is going to give you. And simply from there, just click on here and paste it. This is simply it. Here you can find your favorites. If you had any favorites, like if you had recent sessions, you will find them here. Discovered and invitation, all of these, you will receive them in this page over here. This is the working page. So if you'd like to register and get start free license. So if you want to hear, I will show you real quick their plans. So here you will find free main plans. Let me just close this real quick. 
I will fight the solo plan, the standard plan, and the advanced plan. The solo plan is about 30 bucks. It has one licensed user with three login devices, one outgoing connection, up to 100 managed devices, unlimited devices to connect to, features set for individuals, and mobile support device support. The standard one has like the double, the triple, the quadruple, I don't know, but it has so much better features. It has 20 licensed users in a team, starts with one outgoing connection at up to 20, up to 500 managed devices, instead here we had 100, and a limited device to connect to, standard user management, custom client generator, and much more, more choices. Of course, here, this one, is the double of this. And finally here, I'll find some other uh, like plans, like advanced one, and the ultimate one. The ultimate one, you have to connect them to get it. You can't really just order it because it is, um, you know, really, really huge plan to get. And it is mainly made for enterprise or big companies that they are really going to need like 2,000 managed devices. I don't like like a small business or something like that. We need really 2,000 uh, like PC managed devices. You will only need like maximum 100. So I highly recommend it. It's solo and started. If you'd like to get the free version, you can get it as well. There is no problem with it. You have three managed devices, file transfer, remote starter, remote printing. You have all the basics uh, features that you will mainly need to use in your daily work so it is pretty much um worth would like to get the free one instead of the solo one if you had like a really small business without a lot of people surrounding you of course if you'd like to see more of the services you can go over here and let's say if you'd like you are like somehow we don't know which one to pick any desk or team viewer just check this page guys it has the benefits the features and it is supporting all the platform guys so make sure if you'd like to to choose the ultimate plan and you don't know if you are going with the any desk or team viewer well make sure to actually read the features and the benefits that you are going to get from any desk and the others that you are going to get from team viewer so this how that's how you can go you can do the comparison you can do comp you can compare the prices and much more and right after that you can pick which one to actually choose but for me Personally, I highly recommend any desk because it is really, really easy to use. Uh, it has a clean design and it is totally free. As you can see here, there is a free plan for you. Not like I like TeamViewer, which is like free as well, but it is much complicated. But the free version doesn't have all the features that you will get on the freest version of any desk so yeah guys this is pretty much it i hope you like this video if you had any more questions please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions today guys if like you had any more questions just make sure to make sure to like write it in the comment section i'll make sure to answer all of it so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video